Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, is a chronic lung disease that affects millions of people worldwide. It is a progressive disease that causes airflow limitation and breathing difficulties. COPD is a term that encompasses two main conditions, chronic bronchitis and emphysema. Chronic bronchitis is characterized by a persistent cough and excessive mucus production, which can lead to inflammation and narrowing of the airways. Emphysema, on the other hand, is a condition where the air sacs in the lungs are damaged, leading to a decrease in lung function and shortness of breath. COPD is most commonly caused by smoking, but can also be caused by exposure to air pollution, secondhand smoke, and occupational dust and chemicals. Symptoms of COPD include coughing, wheezing, shortness of breath, and chest tightness. These symptoms can worsen over time and can significantly impact a person's quality of life. Diagnosis of COPD through a combination of medical history, physical examination, and pulmonary function tests. Treatment options for COPD include medications, pulmonary rehabilitation, oxygen therapy, and in severe cases, surgery. Prevention of COPD involves avoiding smoking and exposure to air pollution and occupational hazards. Early detection and treatment of COPD can help slow the progression of the disease and improve quality of life. In conclusion, COPD is a chronic lung disease that causes breathing difficulties and can significantly impact a person's quality of life. It is most commonly caused by smoking, but can also be caused by exposure to air pollution and occupational hazards. Early detection and treatment are important in managing the disease and improving outcomes. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease COPD, is a progressive lung disease that causes breathing difficulties. The main cause of COPD is long-term exposure to harmful gases and particulate matter, such as cigarette smoke, air pollution, and occupational dust and chemicals. Cigarette smoke is the most common cause of COPD, accounting for up to 90% of cases. The harmful chemicals in cigarette smoke can damage the airways and air sacs in the lungs, causing inflammation and narrowing of the air passages. This leads to a chronic cough, wheezing, and shortness of breath. Air pollution, both indoor and outdoor, is another major cause of COPD. Indoor air pollution can come from cooking with solid fuels, such as wood or charcoal, and using kerosene heaters. Outdoor air pollution can come from traffic, industrial emissions, and wildfires. Exposure to these pollutants can cause inflammation and damage to the lungs, leading to COPD. Occupational exposure to dust and chemicals can also cause COPD. Workers in industries such as mining, construction, and manufacturing are at higher risk of developing COPD due to exposure to silica dust, asbestos, and other harmful substances. These substances can cause scarring and inflammation in the lungs, leading to breathing difficulties. In rare cases, genetic factors may also contribute to the development of COPD. People with a deficiency in alpha-1 antitrypsin, a protein that protects the lungs from damage, are at higher risk of developing COPD at a younger age. In conclusion, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease COPD, is caused by long-term exposure to harmful gases and particulate matter, such as cigarette smoke, air pollution, and occupational dust and chemicals. Genetic factors may also play a role in rare cases. It is important to avoid exposure to these harmful substances to prevent the development of COPD. Sure, here's a script about 5 good foods for COPD. 1. Salmon. 
Salmon is rich in omega-3 fatty acids, which have anti-inflammatory properties that can help reduce inflammation in the lungs. This can be especially beneficial for people with COPD, as inflammation can worsen symptoms like shortness of breath. 2. Leafy greens. Leafy greens like spinach and kale are high in antioxidants, which can help protect the lungs from damage caused by free radicals. They're also a good source of vitamin C, which has been shown to improve lung function in people with COPD. 3. Nuts and seeds. Nuts and seeds are a good source of vitamin E, which has been shown to improve lung function in people with COPD. They're also high in healthy fats, which can help reduce inflammation in the body. 4. Berries. Berries like blueberries and raspberries are high in antioxidants, which can help protect the lungs from damage. They're also a good source of vitamin C, which has been shown to improve lung function in people with COPD. 5. Ginger. Ginger has anti-inflammatory properties that can help reduce inflammation in the lungs. It's also been shown to improve lung function in people with asthma, which suggests it may be beneficial for people with COPD as well. That's it. Let me know if you need anything else. 1. Fried foods. Fried foods are high in saturated and trans fats, which can increase inflammation and worsen COPD symptoms. Instead, opt for baked or grilled foods to reduce the risk of exacerbating COPD. 2. Processed meats. Processed meats, such as bacon and sausage, contain high levels of sodium and nitrates, which can lead to fluid retention and shortness of breath in individuals with COPD. Choose lean proteins like chicken or fish instead. 3. Dairy products. Dairy products can cause excess mucus production and inflammation in the airways, making it difficult to breathe. Consider switching to non-dairy alternatives like almond milk or soy milk. 4. Carbonated beverages. Carbonated beverages can lead to bloating and gas, which can put pressure on the diaphragm and make breathing more difficult. Opt for water or herbal tea instead. 5. Salt. Excess salt intake can lead to fluid retention and exacerbate COPD symptoms. Choose low-sodium options when cooking and avoid adding salt to meals. Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Disease COPD, is a chronic lung disease that causes breathing difficulties and can significantly impact a person's quality of life. While there is no cure for COPD, there are several ways to prevent it from developing or worsening. The most important step in preventing COPD is to avoid smoking and exposure to secondhand smoke. Smoking is the leading cause of COPD, and quitting smoking can significantly reduce the risk of developing the disease. If you are a smoker, talk to your healthcare provider about quitting smoking and consider using nicotine replacement therapy or other smoking cessation aids. In addition to avoiding smoking, there are other lifestyle changes that can help prevent COPD. Regular exercise can improve lung function and reduce the risk of developing COPD. 
Eating a healthy diet that is rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains can also help improve lung health and reduce the risk of COPD. It is also important to avoid exposure to environmental pollutants and irritants that can damage the lungs. This includes avoiding exposure to air pollution, dust, and chemicals. If you work in an environment with these types of pollutants, talk to your employer about ways to reduce your exposure. Finally, it is important to stay up to date with regular healthcare checkups and screenings. This can help identify any lung problems early on and allow for prompt treatment. If you have a family history of lung disease or other risk factors for COPD, talk to your healthcare provider about additional steps you can take to prevent the disease. In summary, preventing COPD involves avoiding smoking and exposure to environmental pollutants, maintaining a healthy lifestyle, and staying up to date with regular healthcare checkups and screenings. By taking these steps, you can reduce your risk of developing COPD and improve your overall lung health. Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Disease COPD, is a chronic inflammatory lung disease that causes airflow obstruction and breathing difficulties. It is a progressive disease that can lead to severe disability and even death if left untreated. COPD is primarily caused by smoking, but exposure to air pollution, occupational dust, and chemicals can also contribute to its development. There is no cure for COPD, but there are several ways to manage the symptoms and slow down the progression of the disease. The first step in managing COPD is to quit smoking. Smoking cessation is the most effective way to slow down the progression of the disease and improve lung function. Nicotine replacement therapy, such as nicotine patches, gum, or inhalers, can help reduce withdrawal symptoms and cravings. Behavioral therapy and support groups can also be helpful in quitting smoking. Medications are also an important part of COPD management. Bronchodilators, such as beta agonists and anticholinergics, are used to relax the muscles around the airways and improve breathing. Inhaled corticosteroids can reduce inflammation in the airways and prevent exacerbations. Phosphodiesterase 4 inhibitors can also reduce inflammation and improve lung function. Oxygen therapy is another important treatment for COPD. It can improve oxygen levels in the blood and reduce shortness of breath. Oxygen therapy can be delivered through a nasal cannula or a mask. Pulmonary rehabilitation is a comprehensive program that includes exercise training, education, and counseling. It can improve exercise capacity, reduce symptoms, and improve quality of life. Pulmonary rehabilitation can be done in a hospital or clinic setting or at home. Surgery may be an option for some people with severe COPD. Lung volume reduction surgery can remove damaged tissue from the lungs and improve lung function. Lung transplantation may also be considered for people with end-stage COPD. In conclusion, there is no cure for COPD but there are several ways to manage the symptoms and slow down the progression of the disease. Smoking cessation, medication, oxygen therapy, pulmonary rehabilitation, and surgery are all important treatments for COPD. A comprehensive approach that includes lifestyle changes, medications, and other therapies can help people with COPD live longer, healthier lives. I hope you found this information helpful. Please consider subscribing and setting notifications for future updates.